Hello. I want to cry. We can't find anybody. Yeah, actually, Andy sent me a message. What did he say? Um, he said he has to go to his speech comp um speech practice, like for the competition. I'm not sure. Wow, he didn't tell them. I don't really know. I see. He just sent me a message, like um, I think after your class. Yeah, for his reading competition. Yeah, what about Mimi? Where is she? I don't know. <laughs> oh my gee. No. Really? I was talking to her last night. <laughs> yeah, through Facebook Messenger. Anyways, so it's just the two of you, right? Yeah. <laughs> how was the week? Oh, how was the weekend? No, how was your day so far? Tired. You're tired. Why? Why, Kevin? I, I know. Just I think it's because I'm I'm I sleep so late. That's not. Yeah. What time? Uh, three o'clock. Seriously? <laughs> what have you been doing all night? I'm I'm writing uh, some stuff. I'm writing a, um, like a movie script. Yeah, for uh, but not really doing that. I just doing that for fun and practice. Uh, for fun, okay. I see. Well, I hope it turns out well, because whatever you do for fun, whatever you do that you enjoy, right? I think it will it will go a long way, right? What about Erin? How's your day, pretty girl? Uh, well, um, like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> nothing really special. No. Oh. Well, and next uh, Wednesday, I'm gonna introduce some other people in our school. So, kind of busy. Oh. Lately. Yeah, I need to, like Andy is in this case too. He needs to help to write and build stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, you guys are all busy. Like, it's like you are working in a real world already. <laughs> right? But the good thing is that you are, bo you are all enjoying it. <laughs> well, kind of, but it's really hard when you need to get up. Because yeah. <laughs> you need to sleep earlier than usual, Kevin, not 3 a.m. That but, is uh, not good. <laughs> uh, only when late night I can think about something. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's also my problem. Yeah. Like, um, I'm, my mind is more active at night, so I couldn't sleep well. <laughs> like, before I sleep... It, a lot of things, a lot of ideas come into my mind, right? Uh, I write in night or the morning. It just nothing mm. comes out. Yes, mm -mm. but you uh, you have to make sure that you can take a rest, like you get enough rest. No, uh, but when something when an idea comes out, you just don't want to stop. So. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Just don't be so hard on yourself. Erin, what about you? Are you um, active at night? Like, like I an just, owl? <laughs> no, I just practice week. Wow. At least eight hours. At least. At least. Yeah, it's at weekends, I'll sleep. Like, I will go to bed at 10. I'll wake up at 12 in the morning. Wow. <laughs> I also do did that. <laughs> I envy you guys. Yeah, Gosh. Very perfect. Well, you have to enjoy that time of your life when you can just, you know, sleep. Yeah, you just like, sleep. Mo for more than eight hours because I can't. Like, eight hours is a luxury for me. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, I usually sleep at 2 a.m. And I have to wake up at 5 or 6. Wow, that, that's tired. That's tired. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That's why I always have coffee with me. I'm a, I'm a coffee addict. <laughs> I like coffee, but it doesn't make me to... Like, I was still sweet if I drink coffee at 9 o'clock or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't work on me. Oh, really? It, it keeps me awake somehow, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, anyway, I don't think Mimi or Melody will join us today. Have you seen Melody? We, we, we haven't seen her for a long time, but um, I don't know. Maybe she... She's busy? Yeah. Because um, actually, Petrus mentioned about... Um, Melody, like, um, she's kind of busy, so she don't usually show up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let us continue. Can you see my screen? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is Interchange 2. We are now on Lesson 6. Wow. Sixth meeting. <laughs> it feels like it's, like, we've, we've been talking for a very long time already. <laughs> so we are now on our third week, all right? And for lesson six, we're going to talk about perspectives, okay? Caught in the rush. Um, do you have any idea what do we mean by this, perspective? <laughs> Kevin! Um, yeah, you okay? <laughs> All right, so what do we mean by this? Perspective. You're asking me? Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, sorry. A catch in the rush. Wow. Uh, just, mm -hmm. You can just say it because <laughs> what, what does it mean? <laughs> okay, well, when we say perspective it's like your point of view your outlook your opinion towards something okay so um to, for today's topic we're going to talk about the city okay the things around you and let's start with um compound nouns all right well this is just like a refreshment okay so what do we mean by compound nouns compound noun have you heard of this? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Compound nouns from the word compound, right? Noun is a name of a place, a person, right? Something like that. When we say compound noun, it's a combination of two or more nouns. All right. For example, let's try. Um, Okay, bicycle. So we are going to match column A with column B. So we have nouns and nouns. All you have to do is match. Mm. All right, so bicycle. What bicycle do? station. <laughs> bicycle station. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get an, uh, give another try. Line. Bicycle line. Stop. Sister. This? <laughs> yeah, actually, Sister. bicycle lane. It's bicycle lane. Yeah. Boss. Well, these are the places or areas around the city. Okay, boss top. What do we get? News. Newsstand. Uh huh. Yeah, newsstand. Parking. Lot. No um, lot. there's no lot. <laughs> Lane. Garrett. Parking. Jane. Parking chain. <laughs> parking space. Yeah, parking space. <laughs> Street. Street. Light. Station. Light. Street lights. Yeah, like the red, yellow, and green. 
right? <laughs> Subway. Station. Where yeah, station. Okay, Subway Station. Taxi. Taxi chain. Taxi chain. Taxi. Garage. Okay, taxi garage. Traffic. Chain. And. Yeah, you know yeah. <laughs> you guys are great. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So these are the common places or the areas that we usually see around town, right? Yep. So you have all of these in. I forgot what, what, what was the list. <laughs> um, like bicycle lane, bus uh, station. So we have bicycle station too. Mm -hmm. I yeah, see. We got bicycle station. Bicycle station. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. You can rent a bike in. Just go to another place. And How do you go to um to your school? Like, do you take? Well, the usually I take the bus or the MRT. Bicycle. Bicycle. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so how long does it take you, Erin, to from, from your house going to school? Um, and walk up the mountain, well, not the mountain, the hill. Really? The school is kind of a hill, so that takes 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Walk out of my house and take yeah. a bus yeah. and mm -hmm. then walk on the hill. Uh, oh, it's interesting. Yes. Well, our school, we, right now, the place that we are is called Treasure Hill. Treasure Hill? Uh, yes. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Treasure Hill. Yeah. You can Google it. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. going to do that. <laughs> what about... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, that's 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay. For Kevin, you ride a bicycle? Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. How long does it take you to, uh, from, from your house to school? About 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes. Isn't it tiring? No, not, not really. Well, Understood. that includes the I bike, buy my food and drink and everything. Uh -huh. So, not really far. And it, it's actually a form of exercise, right? <sighs> it takes me, like, are you familiar with Jipney? Jipney. Yeah, Jipney. It's called Jipney. Hold on. I'm going to show you a Jipney. It's like one of the most popular means of transportation, public transportation in Philippines. Hold on. Okay, here. I'll show it to you. This one. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, I have to ride this. Really? Really. But not something like this. Not something like this. This oh, one. Really? Did you, did you just sit in? No, 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 no. Not this one. Not something like this. Not really. Okay. This one is... More popular in the um, um, countryside, yes, in the provinces. But in the cities, this is how it looks like, all right? <laughs> so, yeah. Why do you have a lot of color on the car? Um, I think that's one way of showing how, how creative Filipinos are. <laughs> yes. You see this? Yes. So most of the Japanese are colorful. And yeah, there's like, if the driver, if the Japanese driver is kind of young, like they play music inside the Japanese. So you get entertained while. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, you get entertained while riding the Japanese, while you're on your way. And our bus are black. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> Ugly. Not colorful. Oh, really? Yeah. Boring life. <laughs> I know. In Philippines, this is how it looks like. Looks happy. 
<laughs> it is happy. It is a happy place. It's a very noisy place, actually. <laughs> So you'll see people by the sidewalk. This one, you'll see this in countryside. Like, it's fun. It's fun sometimes. But it's scary if you fall it's, off. Yeah, it's scary. Um, I'll show you one. This. See? Like, um, there's a place in the Philippines. It's like a tourist spot. You have to ride a jeepney. And most people like riding on top of the jeepney. Because you have to pass by mountains. And yeah, it's cool. I want to try that one. Come on, visit Philippines. <laughs> it's more fun in the Philippines. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, yeah? Um, it actually depends, yeah. But we have a speed limit, like, um, 60 kilometers per hour. Is it slow? Fast? No. Us only drive 40. Oh, yeah, bus we, yeah. Our bus just drive 40. And if, and if it's cars. If it's over 40, it will like be and the driver needs to slow down. So, Seriously? Yeah, so. Our bus was slow and you're being very annoying for you. I'm going to late. But do you experience traffic jam? No, we have the special, uh, how to say, the special way for the mm -hmm. bus. So the bus won't get the jam, but sometimes car will explain that the bus make the traffic more uh -huh. in Philippines it's like one of the biggest problems like this wow. for for buses like buses private cars it's really really annoying to travel especially every during day. every day especially during rush hours like um, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. and then Maybe 4 to 7 or 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. It's like... It's so many kind. It's noise. Yeah, it's noisy. It's... We have MRT, but, you know, it's not enough. There are a lot of um, commuters. Yeah. It's a big problem. <laughs> yes. In Taiwan, it's not something like this. Uh, not close. <laughs> not close. Well, it's the time that has a lot of cars, like six a.m. to I don't know nine, yeah. and then at night it's five p.m. to seven. So and it's not that crazy actually. It's no, not we, this. Not not something like this. Crazy because the some activity or holiday. Yeah, holiday. We're going to the south. And like Chinese New Year. And that's that's the only time that we have that yeah. problem. And how do you feel when you're when when you get stalked in a traffic jam? Get off the car and start working. Well, yeah, it's it's actually tiring and really annoying. Right, especially if you're on a rush, like you're you. If you have a meet meeting and then you get stalked in traffic, what the? <laughs> right, but mm, it. I think it's part of like it's not just in the Philippines, right? Okay, so we have here transportation services. Okay, so how are we going to express our perspectives? Okay, so uh, let us read some examples. Like, for example, this one. I think there are too many cars on the road. All the cars, buses, and taxis make it really dangerous for bicycles. There is too much traffic, too. All right. Um, Erin, read the next one. What about the buses? They are too old, slow, and makes too much pollution. 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 I think there should be less 
All right. Uh, Kevin? The fuel cost, but I think the biggest problem is the parking. There's just a parking. All right, so among these three opinions, these are perspective, perspectives, right? So among these three, which one do you agree the most? <coughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I think we meet the most. Which one? Uh, the first one. Yeah. The right, first right. one. Well, um, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. For Kevin, that's the first one, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you agree? I agree the third one because always my dad drives the car, and then there was, we don't. Have, well, in Taipei City, uh, you can't park whatever you want to park, yeah. but at other like in Taoyuan, you can just park on the road and nobody cares. Yeah. Oh, and with parking space need money. Very expensive. Very like expensive. 70 NTs for one hour. Yeah. And harder um, the parking lot find. No, price was high. You just can't go off your car to get subway. Like, <laughs> is it oh, something like this? Like, do, do parking lots in, in Taiwan no, 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 look like this? Looks like that. It's, the road is clear, but you just can't get your get off your car. Ah, uh, yeah. I've experienced that. Space also need money too. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. For for public off um um like for example parking space in the mall. Right or yeah, I think and anywhere we we need to pay parking fee. Well, <laughs> Taipei City is different than other yeah. other cities. They used to be free, but now you park everywhere that costs you money. So, <laughs> do you need to to pay for the parking fee for your bicycle, Kevin? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. Not the anywhere? But there's a lot of seat. No stall your bicycle. So you okay. need a lot of luck on your bicycle. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't get stalled. <laughs> but I think I agree with you. I think it's a little bit dangerous if you're riding a bicycle and you are driving in the like city, right? Yeah, just like motorcycle. You need Try to get space to get through the car. Mm -mm. But yeah, that's kind of dangerous. But I will. I'll make sure there's no big car around me, and I will ride. Not like usual bicycle. They just ran over. Oh, they, over. Don't care. they don't care. They care the speed. They don't care. I know. <laughs> Those big cars, yeah. Those private uh, cars. Well, sometimes even buses. In Philippines, buses are like one of the most common. Really? Yes. Like they yeah. usually get involved with um, accidents. Yeah. If the bus was driving very fast, that's crazy. Mm -mm. Yeah, and just like there's one one instance that um, one bus was driving like in the Skyway, I think. And because it's driving too fast, the driver was driving too fast, it fall. It's like really tragic. Uh, I'm not sure if I can show it to you, but let's see. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, really. There was really something really funny. There's one time that there have in Taiwan, like last year, there was an air crash, and then it crashed. It went all the way down, and it was crashed. A taxi driver was got crashed, and somebody took the picture and then sent it to the U.S. And the, at the U.S. I think it's fake. The, the the picture is fake, but it was really true. Really, they think it. They thought it's fake. 
Taxi driver was calling all the people and saying, I got hit by a plane. And then other people would think he was joking. <laughs> like, what? Like, but it's true. Right? It happened? Yeah. It was kind of funny, that part. Yeah. How is that but, possible, actually? I, I was thinking, how is that possible? And then, well, well, what's really lucky is the, the airplane crashed inside, like, a pond. So the people are all, but I think they're all safe. Most of the people are safe. Yeah. Well, good thing they are all safe because it's like plane and then taxi. <laughs> well, I'm talking about the funny part of the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and even other people out of the country thought this is fake. Like, where where did it happen? Where did it happen? Taipei. 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 Yeah. Uh, there's an airplane in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. It was going to Jingmen. It's another place in Taiwan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah then, really? You can well, Google that too. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I have to. When did it happen? Last year, two years. Uh, okay. Like about last year. Everything mm -hmm. was losing control and it fell down the sky. It just like, there's a bridge and it just. Uh, yeah, it just came down and came the bridge down. right here. And here's the taxi driver and the plane is like, shh. And then here's the pond. Oh yeah, I've seen it. Wait, let me see. Let me check if this is what you're talking about. Is this it? This one? This thing? Yeah, that one. <laughs> People thought it was fake. <laughs> wow. The taxi driver and the people inside the taxi were all fine. Only guys. Oh, they fall inside the water, but they're fine. Yeah, what happened to the plane? Well, it crashed inside the water, so it's kind of fine. It didn't blow up or anything. Did it didn't blow up? Yeah, it yeah, blew yeah. Up. Yeah, it's not. Well, the plane wasn't that lost. Most of the people were no. safe. No. Some for no No, no, not. Most no. of them are safe. Of them, but died. Some died, but still, are not I kind of forgot. I think that. Um. Oh, 31 died. Oh, okay. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Few people survived, but it's a really big accident. And no it's one was. Yeah. Not. You know, so if it's like, not like the worst. Not the worst. Happened, yeah. Not the worst situation. Mm -hmm. I think. The worst would be plane uh, missing planes. Have you heard of that? Oh, that's scary. Those yeah, are scary. <laughs> like the one in I think um, they call it the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, I know at Bermuda Triangle. You don't believe that? It's scary. Kevin? It is very scary. But, yeah, but it's creepy. <laughs> No, recently there were planes missing. Like I think that was last year, and um, people are still not sure if they've found traces of the plane like that. Yeah. Oh my gee. Yeah. Like so, that's the Bermuda Triangle. I'm scared. That's why I don't think I'll ever learn how to drive. If there are two things that I won't learn how to do, that will be driving and swimming. No. <laughs> yeah. Really? Really. Two things that I won't really try doing. Well, driving, was, driving was kind of convenient when you want to go anywhere. You can go anywhere. Then just ask someone to drive for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you have Excuse. no control <laughs> of your life. <laughs> I know, I know, but what if Erin, do you know how to drive? I'm like fifteen only. Like I can't I'm not it's at Taiwan you need to be eighteen. Uh, you need to be eighteen. To yeah, but driving. in the States my brother he got the license when he was fourteen. But when he was fifteen he's when he's fourteen, he got licensed, but he needs to have adults with him. But when he's fifteen, he can go on by himself. Fifteen? Yeah. Well, he has a new car. 
Whoa. Right now. Whoa. Yeah. yeah so jealous. That's crazy. <laughs> How old is your brother now? He's 16, 17. Your mm. brother? And he has his own BMW? Like, yeah. wow. wow. Hopper. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is kind of a. Um, well, my dad, when he was young, when he's like 16 or 17, birthday present was a car. And my other cousin were the same. We, mm-hmm. well, we all have a car mm-hmm. when we have our own license. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm, well, I don't know. I need to wait till I came in Taiwan. Yeah. Oh. Well, in Philippines, you can drive like when professionally you're- when you're 18. But you can get yeah. your student's license, I think, when you're 15. Because student ha- students have their own motorcycle. Like, it's allowed as long as they, are, they have their student's license. And oh, if they have, like, adults with them, just like in the U.S. Like, yeah. motorcycle all around. In Taiwan. Yeah. Yeah. Last time I go to Bali, Bali, Indonesia, I mm-hmm. just saw the like, elementary school students, they're driving the bike <laughs> outside. Really? And driving around and chasing the chicken and yeah. That's the countryside. Yeah, the country. well, Yeah, I heard in Indonesia, motorcycle is one of the most popular means of transportation. The kids also know how to drive that. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I'm a loser. <laughs> yeah, you're a loser. <laughs> Kevin, you know how to drive? No, I drive the. Bicycle? Uh, yeah. I'll drive a video game. <laughs> video. Pretty, game. pretty good. <laughs> oh, I, I'm yeah. so good with it. There's one time I was playing GTA. Yeah, like, I'm very good oh, at GTA. I smashed the car that I flew out of the car. It's so funny. And then the, I went to, I don't know, Sean's house. And then he has this game. And then I was playing with him. And then he's like, he got the expensive this car he got. And then yeah. I smashed it all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very good at the game. Is that's really hard. <laughs> well, my, yeah. I agree. <laughs> Maybe that's one of the reasons why I, I know that I really can't drive because not even in a video game. Yeah. Well, it's kind of funny. People like want me to drive because they want to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm not good at it. I hope that you can drive for me in the future when, like, for example, if I get a chance to visit. <laughs> um, then let's just play video games. Maybe I can, I can drive <laughs> virtually. Let me see. But I've tried it many times, but I never won. I always crash the car. And I, I don't know. I'm not good at it. So, yeah, there. <laughs> Okay. Well, anyway, um, Kevin and Renren, Keke and Renren. Okay. I'll be giving you a homework. Okay. Since there are three people who are not here with us today, I'll be posting this on our page, uh, Facebook page. All right. I hope that you'll check the Facebook page. All right. I want you to discuss um, what are like discuss the things that you can find in your city the problems that you've observed around, especially when it comes to transportation, like that, okay? Okay. And then express your opinion about this issue. All right. Okay, bye-bye, guys. Thank you. Thanks.